In Final Cut Pro 10, you get a gradient, and this is it. And the parameters you get are over here. So basically, you have just this one gradient, and the only way to change it is to change it from linear to radial, or switch over to the iMovie gray gradient variant. Not very helpful. Uh, with the normal gradient, you can change the start ramp and the end ramp. And they can be keyframes, so you can do a little bit of stuff with it. And plus, you can blend it with backgrounds and stuff like that. But unless you have motion and can change the gradient colors, that's pretty much all you get. So I put together a couple of different gradients that can be used. I have a two color and a three color and I'm bundling them together mainly because sometimes it's more useful to have a two color than a three color although you can use the three color as the two color. So I have this two color gradient applied to this clip and these are the default settings. Uh, blend mode is multiply opacity 50% the end color or the top color when you first apply this is um, black and the start color or the lower color is white and with multiply uh, having a start color of white means there is no difference in the image so this goes from a little bit of darkening in the sky to no change at all and this is how it looks on and off you have a middle parameter and basically what this does crank this up a little bit all this does is determine the midline of the crossover from the one color to the other and you have an interpolation setting that's default at continuous and if you go to linear you get a slightly different effect And if you go to constant, then it's like having a single color overlay. So let's go back to continuous. You can also change this to a radial gradient. The other thing that you've got with this is on-screen controls. And this will make keyframing the positional animation of the gradient extremely convenient. Okay, the other gradient is a three-color gradient. Let me reset this. Basically, it's the same deal. The start color is white, the end color is black, the middle color is medium gray, the opacity to start with is 50%, the blend mode is multiply. Uh, the middle location in this particular gradient is the midline of the middle color. and as it gets closer to one or the other start colors it's going to compress and cause an edge right right there so the closer you get you you'll create an edge let me get some variation here let's go blue crank this up a little bit okay uh, you get two grades with a three color gradient because setting the grade the this particular setting on the third color basically has no effect it just doesn't make any difference so if we set the start grade to constant it's going to create a solid color up until the beginning of the next color. And if we do the same thing with the mid color, 
then you can set up a solid bicolor effect. Okay, you have the on screen controls for this again. Uh, just positions the start point and the end point of the gradient. You can change this to a radial if you want to. And these are all keyframeable. So we'll set this back to continuous. You are allowed to drag the on-screen controls off the video region. Anyway, there you go. I uh, hope you find it useful. You can download these. They'll be in one zip from a link in the description below. And I'll catch you on the next one.